the webinar tonight is how would you like to know how to build an investor database of all cash buyers? Of course, it's very, very important that we build a database of buyers, sellers, tenants, rehabbers, investors. Specifically tonight, we're going to talk about how to build that database of investors. They could be rehabbers. They could just be investors. We'll find out what key areas they like to focus in on. And wouldn't it be absolutely wonderful if all of those investors in your database had the ability to pay cash for properties? Of course, we're going to teach you how to do that tonight. Now, as we get started, um, I do want to make a special announcement. And I know that we've talked about this. Um, write these dates down. I don't care what state you're in, where you're at. You want to be in Tampa, Florida on January the 13th and the 14th for a two-day event. Now, we do have a bonus day, which is the third day, the 15th. And that bonus day will be for students that are specifically in the consulting program or have been in the consulting program. And that third day is going to be a bus tour. We're going to take you out into the field in the Tampa, Florida area, and we're going to show you um, how to go out and find the deals. We're going to show you how we do it out there in the real world. We do it real time, so we're very excited about this um, event. Now, we don't have a location lockdown yet. And uh, we will have that shortly. Just, just mark these dates on your calendar. We want to see you there. As we get started tonight, we're going to do just a tad bit of review. It's very, very important that we continue to review. We're looking at the cash flow pyramid. And, you know, most of us live in a world of earned income where we believe time is money. We are changing. We are trading our, our, our time for dollars. Now, earned income is important, and you need to understand there are different types of earned income. Of course, there's passive income. That's where your money works for you. And ultimately, you want to grow a portfolio of wealth that will stand the test of time and endure any economic condition. Now, if you have a job or you're self-employed, you live in a world of earned income. A lot of times, our programs, when we live in a world of income, earned income, we wake up in the morning, we put a feet on the ground, and we say, today I owe, I owe, it's off to work I go. And as we work with consulting students to invest in real estate, we really want to focus first on those earned income type strategies, strategies where we might find a property and assign it to another investor, which we'll discuss tonight and next week, where we find a property, um, we maybe purchase that property, we fix it, and we flip it, and we get those chunks of cash. That's called earned income. Now, you want to take your chunks of earned income, and the very first thing that you want to do is you want to pay off any bad debts that you might have. Of course, there's good debt in this world. There's bad debt in this world. You want to pay off your bad debts. Once your bad debts are paid off, we continue to flip properties and assign properties and take those chunks of cash. And now we can reinvest that in areas that will give us passive income, and we can do that very, very safely. Over the next two to three years, you want to get focused on the next real estate cycle. And I know you guys have heard me say this a lot, and if you're new, I don't care what real estate cycle we're in. I don't care if real estate's going up. I don't care if it's going sideways. I don't care if it's going down in value. We can make money in every single real estate market. You've got to know what cycle you're in today, and you've got to know what that will create for you in the future. And when the market shifts, you've got to be prepared to make the shift with it. And an example that I always give is in the years 2008, 2009, 2010, throughout the United States of America, a lot of people got burned because they didn't understand real estate cycles. You know, when real estate was appreciating dramatically throughout this country, people were buying properties at the height of the market based on the speculation that properties would continue to grow in value. So we all know that there's market cycles, and we're in an incredible real estate market cycle now where properties are starting to appreciate greatly. It's a great time to buy. It's a great time to get in this business, take your business to the next level, and we all know there's another market correction coming. If there's another market correction coming, we must learn how to protect ourselves against that market correction. Very simple, cash flow first. If it's a property that I'm going to flip, 
or a sign. I'm, I'm not worried so much as to what the market's doing. I got to buy it right. And if I'm going to hold that property for passive income, I'm going to calculate my cash flow first. And if the property cash flows, then I'm going to do the deal. Because if I have a property and that property cash flows and the market shifts and it goes down in value, I get to say, who cares? Because I've got my cash flow. I know the market will always come back. Guys, we are in an incredible market right now where we can still find a lot of properties out there at a discount in pre-foreclosure. I can even teach how to find properties before they ever go to foreclosure that are on their way to foreclosure. We can find properties at auctions and we can negotiate short sales. Ultimately, what you want to do is get focused on the cycle of the future. Two to three years from today, guys, that focus should be on apartment buildings, mobile home parks, RV parks, and assisted living care facilities. Now, a lot of people ask me why that's the cycle of the future, and I tell them because that's the cycle because of the cycle that we're in today. So many people have lost their homes in foreclosure and will continue over the next three to five years to lose their homes in foreclosure. It's going to create a greater demand. We're already starting to see that with apartment buildings, mobile home parks, RV parks, and assisted living care facilities. And of course, those will all be topics for future webinars. I also want to take another look tonight at the wealth pyramid. And when we're looking at the wealth pyramid, if you look at the bottom of the pyramid, you have employees or laborers. I, I relate that to slave labor. Because when you're an employee or you're a laborer, you're really a slave of that job. I mean, time is money. If you're not working, you're not making any money, and you're limited to the amount of money that you can make based on the amount of time that you have in a day. Now, if we move up the pyramid and we take a look at builders, doctors, engineers, guys, those are our specialists. Those are those, are those of you out there that have small businesses, you're self-employed, you're specialists. Now, when we take a look at the top of the pyramid, um, you have your investors, your entrepreneurs. That would relate back into the day when they built the pyramids to royalty. So if I take a look at investors and entrepreneurs, or I take a look at royalty, as an investor and entrepreneur, I need builders, I need doctors, I need engineers, I need employees, I need laborers, because those are the people that actually do the work for me. Those are the people that are buying my properties with lease options, with seller financing, or doing the rehab on the properties. So, of course, when you take a look at this pyramid, I want you to see where you fit into the pyramid. And if you're at the bottom, you've got to make the decision to go up. And I think you guys all would agree, I don't care who you voted for in the election. Clinton can't save you. Trump can't save you. The government's not going to save you. We can't sit around and wait on the government to take care of us. Guys, you must take care of your financial future and your family's financial future now. The divide between the extremely wealthy in this country, the middle class, and the poor is starting to wide dramatically. Uh, three to five years from today, there's not going to be a middle class in the United States of America. You're going to have the extremely rich, and you're going to have the poor. I'm not saying it's fair. It is what it is. The writing's on the wall. You guys got to make a decision to go up and stay up, or you guys are going to get smashed down. Now, I know you're here because you want to go up and stay up, and me and my family – want to help you guys do that. You know, one of the things, Greg, on the pyramid about employees, they pay you, employees and laborers, they pay you just enough that you can't afford to quit, to quit, but not enough so that you can really get ahead. And then when you move up to specialists, um, the professionals, the computer programmers, doctors, builders, engineers, all of that, you're getting paid better, but you're working so hard that you're exhausted when you walk through the door at night and you don't have any time to yourself or for your families or to do the things you want to do because you're so busy making the money. So you're kind of tied down regardless which of those levels you're on. Thanks, Greg. No, no yes, that's, that's wonderful, Mom. And it, we talk about this a lot. The system was set up specifically to keep you guys stuck in it. You know, 5% of this country live on what I say the right side, where 
financially free. We achieved a certain amount of wealth. 95% isn't. They live on the left side. They're men and women at work. On the right side, we have assets at work, which are men and women at work. Now, you can get angry about the system, and if you can't beat them, guys, you got to come join them. And I know that's why you're here. The school systems in this country were specifically set up to create a whole bunch of employees, laborers, builders, doctors, engineers, specialists, to pay a whole bunch of tax that will continue to support the extremely wealthy. And the other thing about that is that um, it doesn't mean that the employees or the laborers or the specialists that are any better or not as good as anybody else, but what it does mean is that system did work for us during the Industrial Revolution. The problem is we are no longer in the Industrial Revolution. It worked in my grandparents' days. It worked almost pretty good in my parents' days, but it's not working very good for my children or my grandchildren if they don't move up to the royalty level. There's actually some studies out there right now, and, and, and there's some videos that we'll share with you guys over time, some really, really you know, I wouldn't want to say exciting videos, shocking videos that talk about what mom and I are talking to you about. And there's some studies out there that state that the education that a freshman receives in college will be obsolete by their junior year. Times are changing so quickly out there, guys. We just got to be willing to change with it. So I promised you guys on the last webinar that I'd give you the recipe for success. We had technical difficulties and we just actually didn't get there. And you want to write this down. This is the recipe to success to become an entrepreneur actually in any business. Of course, we're talking about building a real estate investment company. You must have the mindset of an entrepreneur. And when I say you have to have that mindset of an entrepreneur, you have to have that right side mindset. And what will help you achieve your right side mindset is you must have a burning desire. You've got to have a burning desire from deep inside for something other than making a lot of money and for something greater than yourselves. Now, I would imagine a lot of you have a burning desire. How many of you have actually written that burning desire down, put time frames on when you'll accomplish the burning desire? And, you know, one of the things I talk to students about in my consulting program and, and my consultations is, you know, what's your life's burning desire? Well, I'd like to retire in 10 years. That's not a burning desire, and that's not big enough. Well, why do you want to retire in 10 years? And if we could speed that up and you could retire in two years, I'm sure everybody would agree that's what you want to do. Now, the second piece of this puzzle is you've got to have the proper financial education. And when I say financial education, I'm not talking traditional education. Yep, I think our kids need to go to college. They need a traditional education. And wouldn't it be wonderful if they had a financial education to go with it so that when they got to college, they could get the most out of that education. You must have a business plan. If you don't have a business plan, you're just out there running blind. You're going to hit roadblocks, hurdles, brick walls. Even when you have a business plan, you're going to hit roadblocks, hurdles, and brick walls. And if you've got a very, very good plan, when something doesn't go right, you always go back to the plan. And we can find out where you might be missing a step or two. And you know, when I consult with students and things aren't going right, not the way that they want them to go, and I sit and evaluate what it is that's not going right, it's usually just a really small tweak, one or two tweaks that we may have to make that change everything. Now, power team is so very, very important. You've got to surround yourselves with the right power team. If you are not surrounded with the right power team, you will struggle in this business. You will fail in this business. And it, we, you know, we've learned over the years that having the proper power team is vitally important. And you know, the more successful you become in this business or any business, your power team members change. Money. Money is absolutely a resource. It's a tool. It's a part of the recipe for success. Now, we can also use OPM, other people's money. Of course, anytime I can do a real estate transaction, not use my personal money, and I can use somebody else's money, I'm going to do that. I do want to be very clear. There are times when I find great deals out there and I'm not able to use other people's money for whatever reason. I need to do the deal now. It's a negotiating tool. It's such a great deal that I use my money. So you just want to have multiple resources. And 
you also must have the tools of a pro. There are very, very specific tools that I use, that mom uses, Greg Jr. uses to build and grow our businesses. And we're going we're gonna to talk to you about some of those tools tonight as we build our investor database, as we build our list of cash buyers. We learn how to interview those cash buyers. I'll actually demonstrate a tool to you tonight. And, you know, I do want to make a very special shout out tonight. I was speaking with Rhonda um, and Greg Jr., her work with our students that are in the consulting program. And I just want to give a big shout out to uh, uh, Rusty and Mary Lee. And I understand uh, in the beginning of our my consultation with them when they chose to enroll in our consulting program, they had a property that they wanted to sell. Rhonda was able to work with them through REI Black Book, one of the marketing tools that we have, best marketing tool on the planet for real estate investors, and show them how to use that tool to market the property. Now, their property's not sold yet. They actually had an opportunity to sell that property with seller financing and chose not to, and they do have multiple people looking at that property, so we're very, very excited to watch that process, and uh, I'm very, very certain that uh, very, very quickly um, they will have that property sold, and we'll be very, so very, very happy for them. Some things that I have taught you during this webinar series, or if you have been to one of my three-day classes, you have learned everything that you see right now on the screen, and then some. And, you know, I've taught you how to do deals not using your money and not using your credit. Now, those are the more difficult ones to do. And you guys know I'm very, very straightforward. I won't sugarcoat this stuff. And when you have money and you have credit, all of this stuff just becomes easier to do. We can make multiple offers off of one earnest deposit. I have the ability, guys, to go into a market and blanket that market over a three-day period of time with one or 200 offers. Next week's webinar is going to be about blanketing the market with multiple offers that are low to find properties that I could get under contract and assign to another investor. So next we have assignment of contract. Now, of course, you wouldn't want to get that property under contract and assign it to another investor unless you had an investor to assign it to. We'll talk about that in a moment. Seller financing, wrap mortgages. I call it MAT, Mortgage Assumption Through Trust. Now, this is a very, very complex strategy, and they can be done. Guys and gals, I can teach you how to make virtually every single property out there in the United States of America. America that has a mortgage, I can teach you how you can assume that mortgage legally without using any of your money or any of your credit. Now, if you think of the ramifications that the opportunities that are out there, every property in this country that is in pre-foreclosure, I consider that to be a part of my inventory. Now, the reason why I consider that to be a part of my inventory, because if it's in pre-foreclosure, I run the numbers on it. I like the deal. If I get the property under contract, I now control that property. And by going through several steps where I actually control the paperwork, I control the contracts, I have the ability to assume and take control of that property and assume that mortgage. We could also do a sandwich lease option. A sandwich lease option is where I go out and find a property. I get that property under contract, and I release it to somebody in my database for a profit. It's called a sandwich lease option. And something that we've been focused on, on since the beginning of the webinar series would be our mobile home strategies. Now, if you're brand new to the webinar series tonight, I'd like to welcome you to our family. And if you would like to see previous recordings of webinars that we've done, if you just go to YouTube and type in Gregory Down, you will find my YouTube channel. And those recordings are there. And if you're um, one of our current students and you want to go back and review, you will be able to go back and review those recordings. Now, I will leave them there for about a 60-day period of time, and then they'll start to drop off. One of my universal laws, I will never contract to buy a property unless I already have it sold, assigned, or a tenant to put in it. Now, guys and gals, I will tell you if I find a great deal out there and I can get it for 50% of its value and I don't have that property sold or assigned, I'm going to do that deal. And for those of you that are brand new in this business, your beginners are just getting started out, you want to take your business to the next level, and you want to do that very, very safely, wouldn't it make sense to know what the end result of every deal that you do before you do it? 
Guys, that's what takes the scary out of real estate investing. Know what your exit strategy is. Okay, I'm going to get this under contract. I know I'm going to assign it. Well, who am I going to assign it to? I've got 30,000 investors in my investor database that I could assign them to. I've got 50, I've got 100, whatever the number is, it doesn't matter. Now, how can we actually make this universal law right here a reality in your life? Database, database, database. Guys, if you've heard me say it one time, you're going to hear it a thousand more. This business is about database. You must learn how to build the investor database. You must learn how to build a rehabber database. You must learn how to build an investor database that can pay all cash. You must learn how to build a seller's database. Well, so if I had an investor that had inventory, then they could be in my seller's database. If I was making calls to people that had properties that were for sale by owner, and those people, um, they, they're in my seller database. Guys, I could very simply make calls to people that are for sale by owner, find out what people have to sell, build my investor database, find out what people want to buy, get the properties under contract from my seller's database, and assign them to my investor database. Ideally, the cash buyers list, which we're going to talk about in a moment. Buyers database, if I wanted to lease option property, if I want to sell a mobile home, I want to give a big shout out to Juan Alvarez all the way from Colombia on the call tonight. We've been, I've been corresponding with him. He's in our 120-day consulting program, and he's been building his mobile home buyers database from Colombia. He's there for the holidays. The holidays are over. He's coming back home to Colorado, and man, he's going to hit the round running run in full speed. Very, very excited for Juan. I want a tenant database. I want my mobile home buyers database. Now, if I, if I just back up for a second and I take a look at all of these options, seller financing, sandwich lease options, mobile homes, assignment of contract, making multiple offers, how do we set all of that up? We're going to set all of that up, guys, with plan A, plan B, our letters of intent. And I just want to briefly show these to you again. If you are new and you don't have plan A, plan B, at the end of the webinar tonight, I'll, I'll let you know how you can contact me, and we can make sure that you get these valuable resources. And, and Mom's going to review the letters of intent in just a moment. So very important that you guys understand these letters of intent, how we present these letters of intent, so that we can very, very safely go blanket a market and create opportunity. You know, one thing I get students to say to me is there's a lot of competition out there. I haven't found very many opportunities, and, you know, this is going wrong or that's going wrong. Quit looking for opportunity and learn how to create the opportunity. It's much easier to create it than it is to look for it. So I just wanted to go over our letters of intent, plan A, plan B, which sets everything up that we do. And if I'm presenting that plan A option, of course, that's a seller financing option, where I present the plan B option, which is my all-cash option. I don't care if they bite on the all-cash option. I don't care if they bite on the seller financing option. I then can determine how I want to execute that strategy. And for everybody on the call tonight, we'll post plan A, plan B at, a, at the blog to make sure that you guys can, that don't have a copy, get a copy. It's really important. Now, here is another financial literacy tip. And for those of you that have gotten my book, Entrepreneur Unleashed, best-selling book, you've got the book, The Universal Laws Unleashed. There's 48 laws in that book, The Universal Laws Unleashed. When you execute every one of those laws, you will become extremely wealthy in this business. They will also apply to your personal lives. And when you follow these guidelines, guys, failure is not an option. We can do this business safely. Whoever controls the paper controls the deal. Whoever controls the deal controls the money. They control the outcome. Therefore, you must control the paper. Now, what do I mean by that? When you are engaged in a real estate transaction, you want to be the one in control of the paper. Now, if you're dealing with a property that's listed with a realtor, and I love my realtors, you're going to use the realtor's contract. That's going to be a requirement in that state. 
And if I want to change something in the realtor's contract, changes can be made, or I very simply just put an addendum on the realtor's contract, which I have the right to do. The beautiful thing about an addendum, it's in addition to, it's in the back of the contract. Anything in an addendum supersedes anything in the contract. So even with a realtor's contract, I have the ability to maintain control. Now, before I go any further, I do want you guys to know and understand 75% of the business that me and my family do today, those properties are not listed with realtors. 20% 5% of the business that I do is listed with realtors, 75% isn't. You're going to want to write this down. The deals that we do today are coming from four resources. Properties that we find that are in pre-foreclosure that we've scanned for equity. I can teach you guys how to do that. I can teach you how to find those properties with the push of a button. Resource number two, for sale by owner. People that are selling properties themselves that don't have them listed with realtors. And for my realtors that are on the line, I think you guys would agree back in 2008, 2009, 2010, the business was really, really tough for realtors. Well, realtors might think business is better today, but guys, we've got another correction on the horizon. The name of buying and selling homes, the game of buying and selling homes is changing at a rapid pace. My realtors know that the writing is on the wall. Guys, this game is changing, and investors, we're the ones that are taking over. We've learned, out pro we've learned processes to cut the bank out of the transaction, and I don't want to say cut the realtor out of the transaction. We just have a marketing component unlike anything you guys have seen on this planet. Resource number one, properties in pre-foreclosure that we've scanned for equity. I think I'll have time. I'll give you guys a taste of that tonight. Properties that um, are for sale by owner. where people are listing those properties themselves, selling them themselves. And that I'm happened this morning. I'm on the prayer team at our church. And when we were meeting this morning, just one of the people there were like, well, I've got an apartment building, but I've been, I don't really want to sell it because I, because I really want to make money while I'm in retirement, but I don't want to keep it because I don't want to do the work of having it anymore. So there's a problem. We find the solution. We create a situation with seller financing. That's a perfect example of hearing wherever you go, you'll hear with different ears from now on. Which brings me exactly up to my fourth resource, Mom, word of mouth. The majority of the business that my family does today, because we've been doing this for 16 years, mom's been doing it for 18 years, it comes from word of mouth. If you just do business the right way, treat people with respect and dignity, always find the win-win. Guys, at some point in the future, you're going to have more business coming at you than you could possibly handle. So in a moment, guys, I'm going to show you how to be in control of the paperwork. Now, mom's going to really quickly review um, some guidelines with the letters of intent. So a letter of intent is a preliminary agreement in writing between two parties. When we want to do option A and option B, or when we want to blanket the market with 10 or 15 or 20 offers, we don't want to be putting earnest money down with all 15 or 20 offers because we really are only intending to buy one or two. So the letter of intent, LOI, outlines the desire of the buyer to purchase a certain property and is considered a serious first step toward a final negotiated agreement. It's where we start negotiating. No sense to fill out all of the paperwork and a whole contract and put up an earnest deposit when I don't even know if the seller wants to sell me the property yet. The, the beautiful thing about that, that I love about these letters of intent is – most people do believe that time is money. Well, Google Father Time tonight and see if you can buy some of it back. The reality is time is way more valuable than money. Why would I waste my precious time driving around looking at properties that don't work for me? I don't do that. I find properties, go through the information gathering process, which we've done on previous webinars. I put that information into the software, see if the deal works for me. If the deal works, I fill out the information on the two letters of intent, and I hit the send button. 
It is not an obligation to purchase. It's just a step in negotiations to find out if people are close to where I want to be out on price. If somebody's close, if somebody bites on plan A, if somebody bites on plan B, then I'm going to go inspect that property. It's now worth it for me to invest my time in that deal. You ready for the next slide, Mom? I am. In negotiating contracts, we obtain information from the seller, have your interview script in front of you. I think we're right back to you, Greg. Yeah, so you, you have that interview script. So again, this kind of picks up right where we left off on the last slide. I find a property, it's in pre-foreclosure, for sale by owner, people that are in my database or word of mouth. I gather the information about that property. I fill out the letters of intent and we hit the send button. We're just waiting for somebody to bite. This is what I call, let's go fishing. Let's go fishing. Now, I, I know that was kind of a review and we talked a lot about a lot of different things and we're very specifically right now gonna narrow in on how to build your investor database and let's build an investor database of cash buyers, guys. Let's, let's go all the way to the top of the food chain. Let's go find those people in your market area that are investing in real estate and they're paying cash. Now, you have to have a way to be very professional and credible with these people instantly, and I'm going to teach you guys that. Now, so we talked about tools of a pro. Those of you that have the software the RESS software. Um, if you don't have that software, you're more than welcome to send me a private message. I'll talk to you about the software. If you're in my consulting program, you have it. This is a tool of a pro, guys. This saves me countless hours when I want to work my real estate business. It allows me to do things from home in my living room instead of out in the field. That allows me to spend more time with my family. And as most of you know, we love to fish. What we're going to do right now is we're going to take a look at the cash buyers tab. If I click on the cash buyers tab, I put in Florida. I'm going to use Tampa as an example because we've got um, an event coming up in Tampa. And, and guys, when you come to that event in Tampa, we'll, we'll make some live calls right from the classroom. I'm going to show you guys how we really do this. So if I go into Tampa, Florida cash buyers tab and I hit search, Shazam. The software is now giving me everybody in Tampa, Florida, public record. You guys can get this information yourself. You just have to drive to the courthouse to do it. I can do it for every county in the United States of America. And it's going to let me know who paid cash for properties. It's going to tell me the property address, who bought the property, how much they paid for it, the date that they bought that property. And when I look right here, if you'll look at number three, Citrus Park Investors, LLC, when I see LLC, when I see Inc., MBS Property Managers, Inc., RLE Family, LLC, we'll drop down here a little ways, SOHO, Cash, uh, Cash Street, LLC, these, in most every case, I can't say every case, and in most every case, these are cash buyers. These are the investors that paid cash for properties. And the amazing thing is you know what they paid for. It, 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 the beautiful thing is, let me show you this real quick, guys. So take a look at this property right here, RLE Family LLC. If I wanted to do a quick view of that property, I click on Quick View, and it's going to give me the information about that property. Now, I actually would have the ability – I don't have time to do it tonight, and, and part of our consulting program is to train you guys on this. I could actually take this property, add it to my list of properties, do an aerial view of the property, look at it, look at the neighborhood, comp the property, know what the property's worth before I ever call this investor, because you never know. This investor might be willing to sell this inventory to me with seller financing if it was a good deal for everybody. So we have our cash buyers tab, and there are um, pages and pages and pages and pages of cash buyers here, multiple investors. The beautiful thing about the software is it does update every single day. You can print this in a PDF report. You can pull up the report. You can print it as a PDF so that you have all this information right there in front of you. Then, of course, it's now time to do a little investigative work, and you would go to Google and type in these business names, find these businesses, find the ones that have numbers, and very, very simply give them a call. 
Now, the key to this is, is making this call, making the call the right way, and earning credibility. Earning, let these people see that we're professionals, that we've got resources that they may not have, that they might want to use. So we'll go right back into our investor script. So once I've got my investor database, my cash buyers tab, once I've printed that PDF and I've located phone numbers for these investors, we can even put together letters that we would send to these investors. Now, when building the investor database, I, I would much rather you make a phone call than send them a letter. If you're going to send them a letter, that's fine. You must follow that up with a phone call. And it might take multiple phone calls to get to the right person. Now, when you call, you want to make sure that you're talking to the owner of the business or the manager. Once I know that I'm talking to the owner of the manager, hi, my name is Gregory Downing. I represent Florida uh, relations Investment Group, whatever your business name is, we never introduce ourselves as individuals. We introduce ourselves representing our investment company because we do. Our investment company buys and sells real estate. We are reaching out to investors today looking for ways to work together and create win-win situations. We represent over 30,000 other investors throughout the United States of America and are experts at finding properties at a discount. Now, what you must do, and I've got this broken down kind of slide by slide, and you have this script. If you don't have the script, we'll make sure that you, because this is an updated script, guys, as we update our information, as things change out there, we change with it. So this is the updated script, and I kind of got it broken down slide by slide. What you want to do is you want to remember this word for word, slide by slide. Now, when you're making this phone call, I don't expect you to be a robot and read it word for word like you're reading off of a piece of paper. And when you master this process, remember mastering something is being able to do it without thinking about it. And how do you become a master at something? Constant repetition and application of the information would allow you to become a master. My point's this, if you'll master these processes, if you'll master these scripts, when you start making this call, they're never gonna go in the exact order that I have them on the screen, very rarely. And if you'll master this stuff, internalize it to where you don't have to think about it, no matter what question somebody asks you, no matter how somebody tries to throw you off track, you'll be able to answer that question and get right back to your script. Now, I was having a uh, consultation with one of our consulting students, and one of the things they're uncomfortable with is making these phone calls. And I said, man, you just got to get over it. You got to make the call. And the student's like, well, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to mess it up. Guys, let me be very clear. You'll mess these calls up. Just say it right now. I'm going to mess it up. You're going to mess the call up. Who cares? The person on the other end of the line doesn't know the script that you're following. The key is you've got to make the call. If you'll make the first one, the second one gets better, the third one gets better, the fourth one gets better, the fifth one gets better, and then you're going to get to a point where you're going to love making these calls. Now, I will share this with you. Far more people are going to tell you no than tell you yes. And you've got to reprogram your bank brain that it's perfectly okay in real estate for somebody to tell you no. Because when somebody tells me no, I'm perfectly okay with that because that means I'm that much closer to getting the yes. When somebody tells you no, it's like, I got this because that no's out of the way. The next one's going to be a yes. If it's no, okay, I got this because I'm, now I'm closer to getting that yes. It's a numbers game, guys. So once you went through your introduction, um, would it be okay if I asked you a couple of questions? The answer to that almost every case is yes, you're an investor, you represent 30,000 other investors throughout the United States of America. Now, some of you might be thinking, well, how does that work? Um, guys, we do have a software system, REI, which does connect me with 30,000 other master investors throughout the United States of America with the push of a button. Talking about building power teams, guys, I can build a power team in any city in this country from my living room. I don't have to travel to Los Angeles, California to build a power team there. I can do it automated from my living room. 
the game of buying and selling homes with technology today is completely changing. It's automated. We can do it right from our living room. Now, let's get into some of these questions because this is really, really important. And, and when you're making this phone call, um, you should be filling out a questionnaire. Of course, you should have these scripts and questionnaires. Now, check this out. You've got the cash buyers tab in front of you. You know that on 10-24 of 2016, an investor, one of those investors we just looked at, bought a property and they paid $245,000 cash. For. I very simply in this phone call would say, I notice that recently you bought a property, paid all cash, you bought it on 10-16 of 2016, and you paid $245,000 for that property. Now let that sink in for just a second. You get an investor on the phone and you let them know that you noticed that they recently bought a property, you know what they paid for it, you know the date that they bought the property, you know the address of the property. Now what do you think that investor is gonna say to you? They're gonna be like, how did you know that? Where did you get that information from? And that's when I'm gonna smile real big and say, well, I've got some high-tech software that gives me the cash buyers list for all the cash buyers in most every county throughout the United States of America. Now you've got a golden opportunity right here because your goal is to get a face-to-face -face meeting with this investor. Now remember, these guys are at the top of the food chain. They're paying cash. So you've got to make yourself value to them. Say, hey, you know, I've got high-tech software that gives me all the cash buyers in Tampa, Florida. I know that you're a Tampa investor. What other market areas do you focus on? So I'd like to meet you at Applebee's for lunch tomorrow. And when we meet for lunch, I'm going to bring the cash buyers list into you. You can have that for free. Now, why would I be willing to give an investor potential competition for me, my cash buyers list for free? Because I've just now made myself valuable to this person. And if you make yourself valuable to people, they're going to want you. They're going to want to be around you. Now, other questions that we're going to ask is, is your company looking for any inventory? Well, if they're looking for inventory, we're experts at finding property discount. What type of inventory are you looking for? Is there a price range you like to focus on? Some investors are high-end investors. Some investors are middle-end investors. Some investors are low-end investors. We, we want them all on our power team. Are there specific neighborhoods that you are most interested in? So what you're really trying to do is you're trying to find out what this investor's profile is. And when you know what their investor profile is, you put those investors into your investor database. And once you've got multiple investors in your investor database that are seeking inventory, you know what kind of inventory it is, guys, the game starts to become very simple. What do you do? You then go find the properties that they're interested in. Now, how do we find them? We find properties that are in pre-foreclosure that we scanned for equity for sale by owner, people from our database, and word of mouth. If I find somebody that's a motivated seller that has a property for sale that matches one of my investors, I'll get that property under contract, subject to partner's approval, with a 14-day inspection period. I show it to the investor, assign it to them, get an assignment fee. It's a win-win for everybody. Now, here's another great question. Do you have any current inventory that you would like to liquidate? So I've asked them, are they interested in purchasing properties? Do they have any properties that they would like to sell? Now, check out this next question. Do you ever sell property with seller financing? If you don't ask that question, you're never going to know that. And guys, investors like me, investors like mom, Greg Jr., we, we want to become the bank. I would much rather sell somebody a property with seller financing than rent the property to them. Because if I sell it to them with seller financing, they own the property. I don't own the property. They do. I don't own the bricks and mortar. They do. I own the paper. It's way less work to own the paper. And there's a lot of investors out there that will sell properties with seller financing. You buy it with seller financing, turn around and lease option it to somebody else for a profit. Another great question, would you consider a joint venture partnership? In other words, would you like to team up and do some deals? Guys, there's a lot of investors out there like me that don't want to do any work. You go find me a great deal. I'll put up the money, do the deal, and we'll do a revenue split. Do you have any, do you do any private lending? 
Do you have any investor-friendly money sources that you would like to share? Beautiful question right here that Rhonda put in. If I find the right property for you tomorrow, how soon could you be ready to make a move? And would you be paying all cash? Guys, I got to tell you, if you will master this phone process, if you will print the cash buyer's list, and every day, Monday through Friday, make five of these phone calls a day to investors, take them through these list of questions, I, I, I'm going to challenge you. Make five phone calls a day. This is about a four-minute phone call. So we do them five days a week. That's 25 calls. That's 100 calls in the next 30 days. I challenge every one of you to make 100 calls in the next 30 days, and you will have more opportunity coming at you than you know what to do with. Now, having opportunity come at you that you don't know what to do with, that's called creating the opportunity. Now, when you've created the opportunity – you might need a coach. You might need a helping hand to walk you through that deal. Well, that's what this is all about. So, Mom, what I'd like to do right now, um, while it's fresh in everybody's mind, if we could go ahead and open the floor up for some questions on what I've just shared with the group. Okay. If anybody has a question, type it in, and I'll repeat it to Greg. And, and while you guys are thinking about questions or coming up with questions, I, I know as I go through this and I, I get people that say it to me all the time, every day, in my classes, out in the field, on the street, they're like, man, Gregory, you just make this stuff sound so simple. And, and for me, 16 years into the program, guys, it is very, very simple, and I've been doing it for 16 years. The key is you just got to start doing it. You got to do something. Start making these calls. I don't care if you mess them up because if, if this business were easy, every single person would be doing it. And any time I work with a previous student who's been struggling in this business, I always ask them, how are you doing with your database? your buyer's database, your seller's database, your cash buyer's database, your tenants, your investors, your rehabbers, your money resources. Man, I could just go on and on and on and on. This so, business is a numbers game, and it's about database. Yes, Mother. Um, so one of the questions that was from earlier in the evening, evening that I promised that you would go back over is briefly name the four ways to find the properties again, the hidden markets. Okay, so word so, of mouth is one. So, so, the, so the way, and when I, when I share this with you, these are ways to find properties that are not listed with realtors. If the property is not listed, and I wasn't clear about this, so if the property is not listed with a realtor, that means I can use my contract. I am in control of the contract. So if I'll go back out to the software, and if I go over to the tools section in the software, and if I look right here, guys, every contract that I've ever needed to use or run my real estate investment business is right here inside your guys' software. Now, I do want to – I just want to finish with this point right here. If you're going to – not if, when you use the contracts that are in the software, if you're doing a lease option for the first time, you must print that contract, take it to a real estate attorney in your state and say, hey, does this contract protect me in my state? Now, that real estate attorney may make you change some language within the contract. That's perfectly fine. Change the language. You can go right here, export, edit the document. Now you can save that document, Florida Lease Option Agreement. So these four resources, people that I find in pre-foreclosure that I've scanned for equity. And guys, I just real quick, I'm going to show you how that works for me, how that works for me and my family. If I go into the state of Florida and I go into Tampa, which I haven't done in a couple of days, so this is going to be fun. Greg Jr. might have to go to work tomorrow, and I hit search. Now I've pulled up the properties in Tampa, Florida that are in pre-foreclosure. It gives me the most recent filings so that I can work on the freshest deals. Software is going to tell me estimated value of the property, amount of default. And there's pages and pages and pages of properties in here that are in pre-foreclosure. Now sometimes, look, right here. 
What an opportunity. Estimated value of this property, 323298 Amount of default, 251374 Of course, there's a whole lot of work that has to be done here. Contact the homeowner, get them to sign authorization to release information, send that to the bank. Of course, that's a whole other hour-long webinar. And if the numbers are right, I could get this property under contract and assign it to one of my investors. Guys, when you got the right tools and support, it can become that simple. Number one resource, find properties in pre-foreclosure that we've just scanned for equity. We've just done that on this property. Resource number two, for Great, sale. Great, before you go to number two, there's also a question. So can the investors be found on both the React and the RESS software? The answer to that is yes. Okay. Absolutely. So in the React software, you have the same, same cash buyers tab as, as that we have with um, the RESS software. Great, great question. Resource number two, for sale by owner. Get on the internet. Google people that are selling properties themselves. Get on Craigslist. Find properties that are for sale by owner. Call. Go through the information gathering process, which you have those scripts. We've done that on a webinar. Uh, resource number three, database. Before you go to number three, let me add this. We are so used to doing things the same way every day. We drive to work the same way. We go to the beauty shop the same way. We go to the gym the same way. It wouldn't hurt us to drive out of our way two blocks and go down a different street and turn a different way because what you see when your eyes are opened and you're looking will amaze you. Absolutely. And, and, you know, one of the things we talk about are tax deductions and, and my vehicle. And, you know, somebody said, well, how many miles do you deduct a year for business? Every one of them. Because every time I'm in that vehicle or on my boat driving out the river, I'm looking for properties. I'm looking for land. I mean, everything that we do is about property. And, you know, you guys get caught up in these cycles where we do the same things every single day. Well, what if I could get you caught up in a cycle where you could create unlimited wealth? because we certainly can. Sorry guys, I get a little bit wound up about this stuff. Um, database, if I got a database, buyers, sellers, motivated sellers, motivated buyers, investors, rehabbers, tenants, 30,000 people in my um, REI system, there's so much inventory in there. And then, guys, word of mouth. If you're in this business long enough, you just do the right things, um, business will start coming to you. You'll have more business than you can handle. It doesn't happen overnight. And it won't happen if you guys don't actually get into the process. Josh and Jody want to know, where did you get the investor contact info once you find them in the public records or the software? So that's when you're going to have to use your um, detective skills. And, you know, there's multiple sources out there. You could buy services that will help you find people. What I found is when their business is, if you just Google that business name, if they are a legitimate business, um, you're going to be able to get their contact information. You'll definitely be able to get their address, and if you don't get their phone number, you can certainly send them. Um, you can send them a postcard, send them a letter. If it is an investor that's operating out of an office, man, I'm, I'm going to suit up one day and go knock on that office door and ask to talk to the owner um, or the manager of the office. I've put, I've searched it Facebook and sent um, a friend request. I've gone to LinkedIn and done a search of their name and found it. And you can send a private message to someone at face um, at LinkedIn. Just be creative on that. And how about just looking up in the in the white pages online for that name to see if there's a phone number. Okay, Greg, your the next question, if a house is in pre-foreclosure, Sherry wants to know, and the seller has it listed with a real estate agent, can you still make an offer A, offer B, or do you have to work with the agent? You, well, so I'm going to give you a couple of different answers here. Number one, you can still do offer A, offer B. The, the real estate agent is required to make the offer that you give. Now, you're going to have to do that with their contract, Sherry. Now... If a property is listed with a realtor, guys, don't try and go around the back corner. Don't try and go around the realtor and get to the homeowner. If it's listed with the realtor, that person signed a contract, a binding contract, to use the realtor to sell the property. If you like that property, great. There's, I love working with realtors. Now, I will tell you this. I'm not going to go directly to the listing agent. I'm going to go to my agent. 
because a commission is going to get paid, my agent might as well get part of that commission. And when you learn to feed your power team, there's so many moving parts here, guys. When you learn to feed your power team, your power team is going to feed you. So if it's listed with the realtor, yes, we're going to work with the realtor. And I'm just going to go to my realtor, have my realtor deal with the other realtor and the homeowner because my realtor knows how I do business. And the beautiful thing about this, Sherry, is if it's listed with the realtor, you get your realtor involved. Guess who gets to do all the work? The realtors. Okay, Chris Pickrell um, said the Secretary of State will at least have a registered agent for every company. So you can check with the Secretary of State in your state. That's a great, great input. Thanks, Chris. My man, Chris, he's got that technical mind. He's got that engineering mind. What great information. Guys, this is about being a part of a family. This is about being able to work together. And, you know, I, I have tons and tons and tons of knowledge, and I, that's something I wouldn't have thought of, even though I know it's there. It's just, you know, so that's why we, we, we love doing the webinars. We love working together with our students because we can learn so much from each other. Your cousin Paul Millsap is on the line and he wants to know how do I get access to the software you spoke of. Okay, so there's two types of software and uh, the, the, the features that those software have um, are too many to list here. And what I'll do, Paul, is I have links um, of training videos and, and features and benefits of the software. And uh, cousin, I'd love to send those links to you, let you take a look at them. If you want both sets of software, the package is $3,000. The software that lets you network with 30,000 investors throughout the country and a thousand other things, it does have a $97 monthly fee, although you will get three websites for that $97 monthly fee and you have a marketing engine in that software, unlike anything I've ever seen on this planet, oh, I forgot I had that picture up there. You guys want to know what my life's burning desire? You're looking at it right there. That is my son and my grandson. And uh, so, Paul, if that helps, I'm going to send you a message and send those links. Mom, I just want to try and find something here. If you've got another question, we'll go right to it. I don't have another question, but while you're finding what you're looking for, Greg, let me say to everybody, I want to make sure that everybody has option A and option B in the most updated version. I also want to make sure those of you who have already done the Big Cat tool request at the GregoryDowning.com website, there's nine tools there that um, we call it the five tool bundle, but we actually give you nine tools of questionnaires, forms, et cetera. Those of you that have already done the five tool bundle request, uh, within the next two days, you're going to get an email from us with updated revised tools that we've improved. So you don't have to go back and register again. But everybody else, if you haven't already gone to GregoryDowning.com and in the top right-hand corner clicked on the big cat's picture, it's a picture of a lion, and it says free five-tool bundle, everybody in this room, there's 50 of you in the room, everybody in this room should get those five tools. So that's one thing all of you should do before tomorrow morning. And, and I want to give you some clarity. So some of you have already went to the big cat button and you got the scripts. The scripts that are there now are completely revised and updated. Rhonda and I have spent the last week, Greg Jr. Mom, taking a look at the scripts, looking at what's going on in the marketplace now, what's working, what's not working, and we revised all of them. Now guess what? 90 days from now we're going to do the exact same thing. So but if, if you've already change, right, and if, if you've, if already, you've already downloaded the big tool, the tools. You're going to get them by email from us. You don't need to go and download them again. Is, did I, is that, that's, did that's, that make sense, Greg? Yep, absolutely, okay. absolutely. So okay. if you've already downloaded them, you don't need to do it again. We're going to email them to you. If you haven't downloaded them, go to GregoryDowning.com, download those babies tonight. Okay, so Paul, real quick, in the software that's $97 a month, here's our marketing engine. This is why I no longer need a realtor to list my properties. This is um, what Rusty and Mary Lee are using to market their properties. This is what Juan Alvarez is using to build his mobile home buyer's database because when I advertise a property, I can hit a button, or in some cases, a couple of buttons, and auto-blast my advertisement out to all these resources. So a lot of people say, well, $97 a month, that's a lot. Well, when you have virtually no marketing expense anymore, 
it's not a lot. You get three websites with it as well and, and multiple other things. The, pro the software that finds properties in pre-foreclosure and updates every single day, I just want to be clear, there is a $39 monthly fee for that. Now, any other questions, Mom? I don't see any other ones. If I've missed yours, type it to me again. All right, so while we're doing that, uh, again, I just want to let you guys know um, if you are interested in applying for the investment capital, 100K at 0% interest, as soon as this calls over, as soon as the webinar is over, check your inbox, maybe within the next 30 minutes, check your inbox. Number one, you're going to receive an opportunity to have a one-hour free consultation with me. There will be an application questionnaire that you must fill out. You fill out that application questionnaire with the time that you would be available, and then I'll reach out to you and let you know if that time's good or not, and then we'll, we'll have that one-hour conversation. Once you've filled out the questionnaire, then you will also get directions on how to apply for the 100K at 0% interest. Now, I, I had a lot of people that I talked to said, well, I didn't want to apply for the 100K because I didn't know if my credit qualified or not. Well, one of the things that you will do when trying to apply for the 100K is you're going to pull all three of your credit reports with scores. It must be done at CreditNav. That's the process. I don't care if you use CreditCom or not. It must be done at CreditNav. Now, when you pull those reports with scores, there's no credit inquiry. So you have nothing to lose and everything to gain. Now, the beauty is when you send those reports to me to the private email that's in the directions, the secure email, it allows me to review your reports. Even if you don't qualify for the investment capital, I can put you on a credit counseling program, a credit repair program, and I'm running a special for that, by the way. Um, if you need credit repaired, guys, six months would normally cost $800 to do six rounds of disputes. I'm doing that right now, special between now and the end of the year for 400 bucks. So. If you send the reports, you got nothing to lose, everything to gain, and it will allow me to at least have a conversation with you about your credit files, whether you want to do credit repair or not. There is, is a solution to almost any problem when you have the knowledge and a coach to help you solve it. Guys, I don't know the answers to everything, and when I don't know the answer to something, I'm going to go up the line to my power team. I'm going to go to my mom. I'm going to go to my mentors. I'm going to go to the masters that we have out there. I have 30,000 investors in the database that I can pull from. We, we, can, we can solve. There, there's no problems out there today, guys. There's just solutions, just solutions. I do want to share with you um, – our Potential to Results Consulting Program is just rocking right now. We've got some great people in that program. I don't like just anybody. You've got to go through an interview process to get into the program. That is where we take you by the hand for 120 days, and we guarantee to walk you through your first deal if you haven't done one or to walk you through your next deal if you've already done them. We have a 98% success rate, and walking a student through a deal in the next 120 days, and it comes with a guarantee. Driving force behind that program is explore potential, get focused, take action, jumpstart your next move, get deals done. We work with you one-on-one. -on -one. Um, I actually have a student that I'm very proud of all the way from Hawaii, um, Benita. Now, when Benita does her actual mentoring, we're already working with her on her consulting. When she does her mentoring, she's going to come here to the state of Florida, and uh, we're going to focus on some properties here because although we can do stuff in Hawaii, there's more things that we might be able to do here or maybe in Nevada. Unless I want to go to Hawaii, then we might go there. Well, instead. I think we should just all plan another family vacation because it's the kid's most favorite one. <laughs> right. Any other questions pop up, Mom? Uh, um, no. But I do have something to say. I want to send out some bonus things to all of you that are in attendance tonight. Some of you only signed in with your initials and didn't sign in with both your first and last name. I can't send you the option A, option B, letter of intent contract um, agreements or anything like that unless I know you're here tonight. So in the question and answer box, if you didn't sign in with your first and last name, be sure and put your first and last name in the Q&A box, and then I'll at least know you were here. And next week when you sign in, sign in with both names. Thanks. That's it for me. Okay, and as always, let me back up just a couple of slides for you guys. As always, I guess I don't. Greg at GregoryDowning.com. That is my personal email. 
any questions that you guys have, you can send it to my personal email. And if you want that one-hour free consultation, I don't care if you've already had one. If you want another one, I'm fine with that. Um, fill out the application that's going to hit your inbox. There's, I'm going to ask you a question, so it really allows me to prepare for our call to make sure that it's a valuable call for you. If you're interested in applying for the 100K at 0% interest, the directions that you, you must fill out the application to have a phone call with me first, and then the directions for the seed capital will come. And... Um, when I talk to you, we'll talk to you about the capital, if, they, if we need to talk about your reports and things you might be able to do to improve your scores. Whatever it takes to support you with your next steps, guys, that's what we're here for. Um, God bless you, and hey, Greg, let's get ready for more, next Tuesday's webinar. Yes, I have yes, one more question that, just, that came in from Brian. I was hesitant to put my credit because, to pull my credit, because I wasn't sure if you would have my SSN, so some people might be concerned about that as well. Brian, thank you so much for that. So, and, and by the way, Brian's one of our new consulting students in Washington, not Washington, D.C., um, Seattle to Washington area. And uh, he did get approved for the capital investment money. So when you, when you go to CreditNav and you pull all three of your reports with scores, when you send that to me, your social security number does not show on there anywhere. So I won't have access to your social security number. And if you tried to give it to me, I wouldn't take it anyway. And Brian, very great, great, great question, and maybe uh, we appreciate you maybe making other people feel comfortable. And if you want to have a conversation with me about the capital investment money, if there's things that you're concerned with, fill out the questionnaire, and we'll talk about it, and then you can make a decision of whether it's the right thing for you to do or not. All right, All right. listen, next Tuesday's webinar. We've now learned how to build this investor database. Guy, here's what I want from you guys. I want you, those of you that have the software, I want you to print that cash buyers tab. I want you to start finding these cash buyers, and I want you making phone calls to these cash buyers, and I want you sending messages to me at greg at gregorydowning.com telling me what's working and telling me what's not working. I want to see that you guys are out there taking action and engaged. Now, next week's webinar, guess what we're going to do? We're going to go through that process of assignment of contract from start to finish, step by step by step by step. So the beautiful thing is if you'll get some investors in your investor database, we can now go out and find some properties and assign them to them. All right, everybody, God bless you, and we'll see you next Tuesday night.